Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Uh, great to see Arsenal back in action yesterday. I was gutted I didn't actually get to go out there to, um, to Germany. Um, big up to Cecil and also to Lee Judges. They were over there. Some brilliant coverage of the game. If you haven't checked out all the videos and all the interviews after the game. And they also got to meet Edu as well. And were cheekily asking him about signings. You've got to check that out. So um, check that out here on AFTV. But um, yeah, it was a good performance by Arsenal in the end. It got off to a bit of a slow start. First half featuring a lot of the, uh, the kids. Um, but then in the second half, the arrival of this guy, Gabriel Jesus. Wow, what a debut. Scoring his first goal after 90 seconds. He could have had a hat-trick in the game. I mean, he was just simply brilliant. And if you, you ever want to endear yourself to, um, you know, your new club, just make a debut like that. I mean, we want him to make a debut like that in the Premier League. It is only a friendly, but it was nice to see a good win. 5-3, rock it by Mohamed El Nen. He doesn't score any other goals apart from an absolute rocket. And as I've been saying, the blessed team, Jesus and Mohamed, right? <laughs> Especially, um, you know, El Nen's goal coming in Eid as well. Yeah, big up, right? It could, you know? So, no, it was a, it was a good win. Um, good way to sort of get the cobwebs off. It is pre-season, but great to see um, some of those players in action. Eddie and Ketcher, by the way, look really, really sharp. And that's what it's all about. Um, it's all about getting sharp. So, off to winning start in their first friendly. Um, and that was good and really good to see. But, Mikel Arteta saying in his press conference after the game, we're still working on other signings. Uh, they asked him who. He said he's not going to talk about players that are at other clubs. But, still working on other signings. And also, Edu, um, when the guys were speaking to him as well, also said the same thing working on other signings. So we look forward to seeing who those are going to be. Um, just for a touch on some of the transfers, um, really sad news I thought yesterday when it came out about Jack Wilshire. He announced that he's officially retiring from football. Um, he's uh, had a lot of different spells at various different clubs, um, but it just hasn't worked out for him. What a talented player. I remember when he first broke onto the scene, absolutely brilliant, brilliant player. But it's just been plagued with injuries throughout his career. And now he has decided to retire. However, um, David Ornstein exclusively breaking the news that he's been offered the chance to become or will become the under-18s coach at Arsenal. So I think that's exceptional. He'll be able to bring all that experience to those young players. They'll be able to look at a player who's come on the same pathway as them. I think it makes perfect sense. And it's great to see him back in the game. Um, and also back at Arsenal, the club that he absolutely loves. So, wishing Jack Wilshire all the best in the future. You know, you never know your what it could be mapped out for you is that one day you become a top coach or a top manager. So, but listen, uh, Jack Wilshire, thank you for the memories, man. What a player um, and what a guy as well. So, Jack Wilshire officially retiring. Now, Signings, Lissandro Martinez, where is this guy going to choose to go? Uh, lots of reports around yesterday that Manchester United, they're so confident that they're going to get this signing done that they've already planned a medical. That was according to um, 90 Mins. Also reports that they've um, put in a renewed bid of around about £43 million. Arsenal have, have, yet to, have not yet responded. Who's going to... You know, who's going to get this player? Are Arsenal going to match that bid of £43 million? Should Arsenal match that bid? Funny enough, I, I was at a funeral yesterday, so that's why I wasn't able to go to the game. A close friend of mine who passed away, big up Danny. Um, I was chatting to a lot of people at the funeral, loads of gooners there, and they were saying to me, Robbie, is he worth £43 million? And I was going, hey, you know what, that's very true. It started off around about the, the 25s, 30. Now, you know, Ajax have been pretty crafty here and pretty smart have started a bidding war and, you know, now United have gone for it. Are Arsenal going to match it? And should they match it if he's definitely going to go to United? I mean, listen, it's all speculation at the moment because there's still a lot of talk that he hasn't fully decided where he's going to go yet. But um, United said to have lodged a bid for £43 million, £43 million. Let's see where he ends up. Should Arsenal look at alternatives? I've spoken yesterday about 
Um, Alex Grimaldo. What about going back in for this guy? Alexander Zinchenko. We a lot of talk of him at right at the start of the transfer window. Versatile player who can play as a left back, but also can play in midfield. That's what he does for the Ukraine. Has played there really, really well. Would cost way, way less. You know, uh, reported fee at the moment is around about the 20 million mark. I think he's got the only one year left on his contract. And Mikel Arteta has worked before with him at Manchester City, so we'll know him inside out. Would that be a better signing, or would you rather see Lissandro Martinez coming? I'm just thinking, you know, £43 million, even though, listen, I want Arsenal to splash the cash. But £43 million is a lot of money. I don't know what the the seat the you know the the transfer window budget is but 43 million pound on one player who's not really even a starter is a lot of money isn't it i mean i'm still not sure if he'd start i think if arsenal bring him in he's coming in to play left back kieran tierney who we saw he's back in the team now and um, played 30 minutes yesterday he was taken off as a precaution i know some people were losing it yesterday saying oh how comes tierney's come off oh look he's injured again that was a planned thing Mikel arteta said after the game to bring him off after 30 minutes but if martinez does come to arsenal is he a starter or is he not i mean 43 million pounds is a lot of money for a player who's not going to start games week in week out i don't know um love to hear from you guys uh, lots of reports as well about this guy, Lucas Poqueta. I spoke about him um, a few days ago. There's a publication, French publication called Media Foot, who are claiming that Arsenal are pushing hard to sign Lucas Poqueta. Um, won't be a cheap deal. There'll be a lot of money required by Marseille. Um, I've seen quotations, anything from around about, I mean, I see the valuation there, 31.5, but anything from around about 35 to 40 million they would like for a player of Lucas Paqueta, a player of high, high quality, um, said to be also wanted by Newcastle. Now, we know that Newcastle snapped up his teammate and friend, um, Bruno Guimaraes, um, in January, and they're pushing hard for Paqueta. Are Arsenal really in for Paqueta? He's a player that can um, play in multiple positions in that midfield. Predominantly, he's sort of an attacking midfielder last season, but he can play in that sort of deep line role and dictate. So will Arsenal push for Lucas um, Paqueta? That is what the reports um, are coming out of France are saying today, that they're pushing hard for him. Would love that. He's an absolute top quality player and another Brazilian. But let's wait and see. Or could they make a return for a player that used to play for Arsenal before, has gone off you know, left Arsenal, um, he, he played for us between 2015 and 2017, uh, didn't get into the first team, Arsenal sold him, he went to Empoli, then from Empoli to AC Milan, and last year he won Serie A, I'm talking about this guy, um, Ishmael Banesha, had a great season last year, he's had some great seasons, I think, for AC Milan, he's been there for a few seasons now, and he really has done well. Still only 24. He admitted himself that when he first moved to the Emirates, um, he wasn't really ready for it. He, he wasn't comfortable in London. He didn't have his family with him. Um, but he's really settled in Milan and he's become a real top, top player for them. Reported fee ran about um, 29.7 million, according to Transfer Market. But um, it said that AC Milan would look for something like 34 to 35 million pounds for him if they agreed to sell. Remember, this is a lot of speculation at the moment that is coming out of Italy and reports that Arsenal might try and re-sign him. Um, would they re-sign him? I mean, listen, he was at the Emirates before, but then he may want to, you know, he's, you know, he's won the league with, um, Serie, sorry, with uh, AC Milan last year. He may want to play in the Champions League. I don't know. Um, an interesting one. I, I personally feel that still when I look at like that Benetia one today, I still think it's a bit of a um sort of message to Leicester City that Arsenal are saying, listen, Yuri Tielemans, we want him, but we're not paying no mad money for him. And we've got all these alternatives lined up. So if you don't, you know, cough up the money, sorry, if you don't like cough up the player for a decent price, We'll just go and get one of these alternatives. It's like a warning. I think clubs do do that sometimes. Or sometimes, to be fair, teams, you know, it's, it's due diligence. Just have other targets. So if Yuri Tielemans doesn't come off, 
um, you've got other targets you can go for. And, you know, Benesha, Paqueta, those could be those other targets. Uh, Milinkovic, Savic, if the Tielemans one doesn't work out. So again, let's wait and see how that develops. A player um, who looks like he's on the way out, we've spoken about this on many times, is Pablo Mari. Um, Pablo Mari's uh, representatives uh, was talk were in talks with uh, Serie A side uh, Hellas Verona um, about a move. Um, his agents also spoken to Napoli and Fiorentina. Arsenal looking in around about the £14 million mark for Pablo Mari. Want to recruit money, of course. Arsenal have been splashing the cash this summer, so they need to make back some of the money they've been splashing out. But um, looks like he'll be heading back to Serie A. Of course, he had a very good loan period for Udinese there. So be well at home returning back over there to Italy. So let's see where Pablo Mari and a whole host of other players. I mean, Hector Bellerin, who captained the team yesterday, is another player that's um, going to be leaving probably this um, summer. Thanks for watching the show today. Um, listen, uh, check out all of the excellent content that we had from over there in uh, Nuremberg. Nobody covered that match like we did. We were out there. We were over here in the studio as well. Complete coverage of it. Listen to what the fans are saying out there. Lots of them had their say on Gabriel Jesus. Um, check out the video with Lee Judges and Cecil meeting Edu. Um, some great content there. Um, so listen, um, thanks for watching the show and I'll be back tomorrow.